beautiful people. Um, today I'm going to do a bottle upcycle and this bottle that I'm using, I don't know what this is, Cruzan. Uh, people give me these bottles. I'm sure this is probably a liquor bottle. You can use a wine bottle, just any kind of bottle you can find. If you don't have any, I don't have any either. I, I ask people and they give them to me. So you'll need any kind of bottle you can find. Um, I am going to use this red spray paint by Rust-Oleum and look in the description box below and it'll have all of the supplies so you won't nothing will get left out so no worries i'm going to be just using some leftover denim that i had from another project and and i haven't done any used any bling in a long time so i am pulling out my bag of rhinestones because <laughs> i know y'all are missing that bling so let's get started so I left out one product. I am going to be using some of the Mod Podge. I got this little bottle from the Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing right now is taking some round items. I have a little votive. And then this is the top to the liquor bottle and the top to the spray paint. And all I'm doing is putting this on top of the denim and then just tracing a pattern around just like so, a circular pattern. And I'm tracing it on the back, but I actually plan on using some of the back and some of the front so I can get two different shades of blue. So I'm doing this for the 4th of July um, as a project for the 4th, but you don't have to use it as that because I could have done stars. That's the reason why I'm not doing the stars because I want to do the red, white, and blue, but I want it to be a piece that you could use year round for something else if you wanted to other than the holidays so I'm gonna go ahead and get my scissors Oopsie. and I'm gonna just start cutting out the circles that I have on here hey y'all sorry it's taken me two days to finish this project I'm sure y'all noticed that I have on different clothes I've been just super busy here lately but I am cutting out the circles and I think I like these smaller circles better than I like the bigger ones. And I wanted to tell you all that you see how the color is changing. It's the same denim, but I'm turning it on the other side. And I think I'm going to use that variation. So I hope y'all like that. And I'm going to get started putting the pieces on the bottom. Now, I did give it two coats of spray paint. So I want to get it extra red. And, um, um, and I'm not going to pay any attention to the wording on the bottle. I'm just going to go around it and put it wherever it falls. I'm just going to ignore that the words are on there for this uh, Cruzan, whatever, whatever that is. <laughs> so let's get started with the Mod Podge. So those of you who have been watching my channel for a while know that I don't mind getting a little dirty. So I'm not going to worry about using a um, disposable brush for this, but you are more than welcome to. <laughs> So anyways, I'm just putting some of this Mod Podge on the back of it and using it to glue it down like so. And that's the same thing I'm gonna do with the other piece. And if you happen to get it somewhere where you don't want it, don't worry about it, it dries clear. You probably will see like a little, uh, a little gloss from it, but no worries. No, no project is gonna be perfect. And you don't need to stress over this. Um, we're just having fun. I try to remind y'all of that. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's handmade. So if you're a perfectionist, then, um, you know, do what you got to do. <laughs> but I'm not. So I'm just going to play as usual. So I'm going to show y'all what this is looking like thus far. There's one big one, there's two of the smaller ones, and I did change the color up. One of them is on the reverse side, and one of them is on the dark side. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all around my pretty red bottle.
<laughs> now that I've got all of the ones on here just the way I want them, I'm just going to put a little glue on the top and this will help to seal this. And um, when I'm totally done with this project, because I don't want to forget to tell y'all, I will seal it with this crystal clear enamel by Rust-Oleum. But um, right now, because these are denim and because it's fabric, I'm just going to seal it with a little bit of the Mod Podge. Once again, I'm just using my, my fingers to do it. And I'm not real concerned about the edges of it. I hope you all aren't either. <laughs> so, I hope everybody's having a good day. It's hot here, so it's no need me fixing my hair today because it's just going to fall with this humidity and this heat and for those of y'all who are looking for me and uh the other youtubers um because i've had a youtuber today send me a message she didn't realize that i am in the a i am in atlanta so if y'all are looking for me and you want to get together and do a project which is what she was looking for me uh for let me know hit me up and um we can do something, do a collaboration together, and that would be lovely. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue on like this, just putting the Mod Podge around it, and I'm going to let it dry. And that's what it looks like. It will dry clear, though. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to put some stones on here, and I'm going to use my hot glue gun, and I'm just planning to put some around the neck. And for time's sake, I need to go ahead. Oopsie, it's cutting up on me again. Let me pull this piece out. I don't know why it gets stuck like that. But for time's sake, I'm just going to prop the bottle up on this votive <laughs> so that it can continue to dry as I continue to work. And y'all see that my desk is a mess and my hot glue gun is a hot mess. So I probably need to get another one but i'm too busy right now so i'm not gonna worry about it it still works <laughs> so y'all just bear with me okay um i'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling so y'all um i may not be checking in as often as i usually do because i usually make a video um daily but the past couple of weeks i haven't been able to do that so if you're looking for me, just know that I am traveling and what I think I'm going to do is do some vlogging. Um, let me see if y'all can see this. Yes, there we go. This is that good, that good, good bling. So I know you ladies um, are probably busy because it's summer also and that's why I'm creating this really easy DIY that I hope that you all will like and uh, someone asked me to do this to do a bottle um, and they wanted a candle at the top and what I'm gonna say because I'm just gonna put flowers at the top of this one but you can just take this and adhere it to the top Whoops, just like that with some E6000. Oh, I just cannot get it centered, can I? But you know what I'm talking about. And if you want to, you could put it at the top and let it sit overnight and then spray paint it um, all together. So, but for my purposes today, I, um, I opted not to, but it's as simple as that. And you can go back and look at some of my other bottle videos and you'll see where I've done that in the past so anyways what y'all think about that bling let me know so I'm just gonna keep going around here putting some bling on there and uh, while the other parts dry hey y'all so I know that I'm gonna get this question because I get it every time I use this tool so I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all about it the tool that I'm using to pick up the rhinestones with this is the pick me up tool and it is made by Silhouette. And I will leave a link below in the description box. So if you're looking for it, you can just go to that link and it'll take you directly to it. And every time I use it, I get, um, I get questions because it's very convenient 
It keeps your hands from getting sticky. It keeps you from burning them when you're working on your projects. I'm always burning my fingers. So you might want to check that out. And here's where I am now. So we got some denim. We got a little casual. We got this red that's a little, little fierce. And then we got that bling. What y'all think about that? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Are y'all feeling this? I am. I think it's cute. Um, but this is kind of my personality anyways. I like a little classy, but I want a little a little sexy cool too. So <laughs> I hope y'all like this. I'm going to go ahead and put some more rhinestones on it. Hey y'all, so I did finish the bottle. And all I did was I went back and put two coats of the Mod Podge all around the outside of it. Not on the rhinestones, but everywhere else to seal it. And I think it turned out really pretty. You could put some white roses in the top or some type of white flower, but I am using the rhinestones as my white. So I have the red, white, and blue. And as I said, you could use this all year around. I hope that you like this. I've been extra busy and I am gonna post a vlog and I'm gonna try to do at least one more tutorial for, um, for the 4th of July but you all just bear with me I will be back in full force just right now I am just extremely busy so leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this bottle and also if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and I think that this is a quick and easy project um, and if any of you all are looking for the little tool that I use to put the rhinestones on go down and to the bottom in the, in the description box and um, there'll be a link down there for the pick me up craft tool and also just so you know I am preparing for a giveaway I'm almost uh, well quickly approaching 15,000 subscribers y'all I think that this video I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna finish this tutorial <laughs> but what I was trying to tell you all is that that pick-me-up tool that I use to put the rhinestones on, um, I'm gonna be giving some of those away. The company that makes them silhouette was uh, gracious enough to give me some to give to you all. And so be on the lookout for for that giveaway. And these these are my little bears in the back, okay? Y'all say hello. So, yes baby there you go hello beautiful people <laughs> so I am vlogging with them also so y'all look for that I've done one vlog I haven't posted yet but look for it um, I'll post it soon and then uh, for the 4th of July I'll probably vlog or I'll vlog all this stuff that I have been um, commissioned to cook for the 4th of July <laughs> for some odd reason everybody thinks I could do all the cooking but um, anyways I hope you like this sorry that it's taken me like four or five days to finish this one tutorial but as you can see I am a mommy first and then a youtuber so these next two weeks are dedicated to them so I'll put in a little work, but not the way I usually work. So anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Go ahead and subscribe, like this video, leave a comment below, and let me know how many of y'all are going to actually do this one. I'm loving this denim, and I'm loving the red. I'm not usually a red person, but this, this red is kind of growing on me. It's yeah, it's kind of everything. So <laughs> have a great day. Thank y'all so much. And also, I'm going to leave at the end of this video. Um, you can click on the pictures that you'll see for my other um, 4th of July tutorials that I did. And if you don't want to click on those, you can look down below in the description box and there'll be links down there where you can find those videos. I did a, a three-tier serving tray for the 4th of July that was real quick and easy. And I did a centerpiece um, that was really quick and easy. It was with uh, some Dollar Tree vases. And um, I did use um, some of the denim on it also, but a really quick and easy project. So if you're looking for something last minute, just go down in the description box or either look at the end of this video and you will see the pictures and you can click on those boxes and it'll take you to those tutorials. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Bye, beautiful people.